Hey everyone, Eric from Ride Adventures here to do a quick comparison for you of the Ram X-Mount to the Quad Lock if you want to carry your smartphone on your motorcycle as your primary GPS device. So, just to give a quick background, you know, Ride Adventures, we've been guiding motorcycle tours around the world for almost 10 years now. My fellow guides and I were in a pretty good position to share our opinion and our comparison of these two devices as uh, the world perhaps shifts to maybe just using their smartphones for all GPS needs, of course, in the future. So let's get into the pros and the cons of each one, starting with the quad lock. The first thing I like about it is the locking mechanism. When you put it on and you twist it, you know that it's locked. You will feel the release switch click into place and you will know that it is in its position and it's gonna stay on the bike. For photography, making sure you capture that one video moment that you want, it is a very quick system. You can get the phone on or off in a split second and not have to worry about messing around with uh, whether it's being secured properly or not. Also, you have full screen access with the quad lock um, because there are no rubber bands or anything holding it onto its position. It's just this mounting uh, connection back here. You have full access to the screen of your phone to catch, check your notifications or whatever you might need to. From an adaptability standpoint, the quad lock works with the RAM ball and other mounting systems by RAM or other manufacturers that you might already have in place. Uh, quad lock, they do offer different proprietary handlebar mounts and stuff. You might not even want to use the popular RAM balls, but uh, you can use their mounting systems completely on their own. And then lastly, the quality and the construction. The feeling is very secure. When you twist this into its place on the mount, you know it's there. Everything's very well built. As for the cons, the downside to the quad, the quad lock, the first one is that you just have to buy their phone, their case. You need the specific fitting on the back of the case. Um, the, they make a unique case, of course, for all the popular phone models out there. Um, but on the, down, on the flip side, that's not such a bad thing because you know, I think we all pretty much want a case for our phones anyway. And so spending $30 on their case instead of another one is not such a bad deal after all. Another downside to the quad lock system is you're essentially having to buy at least their universal adapter or some kind of a mounting device if you want to, again, put this onto a mount on the handlebars or some other part of your bike. Lastly, the, the, uh, there's no evidence of this yet, but being a moving part like that, plastic shearing on plastic, with time that could wear out, I have not seen it come even close to wearing out yet. Um, it's a good quality piece of plastic that despite twisting back and forth like that, I see no reason why it's gonna wear out. By the time it does, you're probably due for a new phone and therefore a different case anyway, so. Now on to the Ram X-Mount. Let's start with the pros for the X-Mount, and that's that simply, it works. It does what it's advertised to do if you take the time to put your phone in the proper position and strap the four corners of the rubber bands around your phone. I've never seen anybody with all four corners rubber banded. I've never seen their, them lose their phone. Uh, we do have evidence though and an example of what happens when you don't put all four corners on, the, the phone can fall out of the mount. So. And that is the downside, the cons for the X-Mount, is that these rubber bands with time can break. You know, they're exposed to the elements, the sun, constant stretching, dry conditions, and that rubber band has broken for other people's. This one's still in place. This one's pretty new, but they do break over time. Also the four corner, the rubber pieces here, as you can see, I've lost two of them already. I make a point to make sure when I'm getting on the bike or getting off, are they still there? I don't know if these two disappeared while I was riding, or if somebody walked by and grabbed one. Not quite sure, but as you can see, they are not there, and therefore the phone is a little bit less secure. Also, by having to use just the metal sharp edge right there, uh, you're kind of digging into the corners of your phone. Not optimal, not very secure. Because of having to deal with the rubber bands on the corner of the, uh, around the corners of your phone, you've got the screen partially being covered in the different four corners where you might, might want to access your notifications or do something with your phone, the rubber band kind of gets in the way on at least those four corners. And with all of this in mind, uh, you're a little bit less likely to take photos because of all the dealing with the rubber bands and, and, and getting it on and off. And it might only be five to 10 seconds or whatever it is to put the rubber bands in place, but you know, tired hands, a lot of vibrations on the motorcycles, maybe you're not, 
quick and fluid with getting it. Maybe it slows you down to the point that instead of taking a photo opportunity, you pass it up just because you don't want to deal with the rubber bands. I actually found myself doing that in a hurry in a few moments. I just said, forget the photo and I needed to do something else. So, um, and in general, the quality of construction to me, it's not quite there with the ram mount. Again, the, the piece is falling off grittiness that probably happens from sand and things going into the action right there. It's just not a real high quality feeling to me. So in short, having used both systems for a while now, I've moved away from the ram mount. Uh, I'm going with the quad lock just for all the aforementioned e uh, reasons. It's quicker, it's faster, easier, full screen access. I just like it a lot more. Um, Hope the information helps you. Hope uh, you find good use of your smartphone as your primary GPS device. Uh, check the link in the description and we'll have this embedded in a blog post too, where you can get a, a link for a discount on the quad lock systems. And um, chime in on comments. Let us know if uh, you have questions or any other your own experience about using either of these. So take care everyone.